Hey guys, <clears throat> hey guys, so I ran across this video last night and I'm not quite sure what to think about this video. It's from 51550 and uh, it's entitled Harass in the Bathroom First Amendment Audit Fail in Louisville. So let's go ahead and get started on this and you know I'll commentate. In Louisville, Kentucky, the Public Defender's Office is here at 701 West Jefferson Street. Jefferson County Municipal Center right here. That is a nice uh, building. I've never been to Louisville. I wanted to go, but I haven't had the opportunity yet. But that is a beautiful building. I still don't know how to use those uh, smartphone scanners, the little, you know, the little thing they're showing on there. I still don't, still don't know how to use those things. No, thank you. I'm just getting pictures of the lobby. I've seen one of these before in Gallatin, Tennessee, where it's the old records, and this goes back to 1975. I mean, so far the interaction is going pretty well uh, the lady did ask her what she was doing she said she's filming and there hasn't been really any uh, contact so far so so far things are looking good for our auditor Who remembers when cell phones look like that? Almost looks like a car phone too, doesn't it? I always like when they take a tour of wherever they are and there's always just some interesting 
not always, but a lot, sometimes there's some interesting stuff wherever they go and they get all that on video. It's, it, you know, it really adds to uh, audit that is, you know, um, lacking uh, any kind of contact or anything like that. It just, it adds to it and, you know, it, it gives you a more, uh, just, it, it, it just adds to the audit. Has anyone been in this uh, police station? Is I mean, it, it, I'm just curious, and because uh, it's really a nice police station, it, that the architecture is really wonderful. The inside of it, they got a lot of cool exhibits. It's pretty interesting. I like it. Why do otters like to focus on the police sign? I mean, I don't under, I I don't get that. They they always do. They like to. Either they see a police sign, they focus on it. If they're doing an audit on something else, they see police, all of a sudden the camera's like, oh, look, police. It's, to me, it, it almost like, oh, they're hoping for an interaction, some of them. Maybe not this one in general. Well, she's at a police station. But I don't know, when they focus on signs like that, it makes me think about that type of thing. I mean, <laughs> that was pretty quick and random, wasn't it? All of a sudden, she's having a good audit. Next thing you know, the very next part of the video, excuse me, I'm using a bathroom. I'm not quite sure what to think of this situation. I mean, obviously, I I think maybe the lady, the lady didn't need to, you know, confront her while she's in the bathroom. That is strange and... Uh, weird it's weird it's strange and unsettling at the same time but then again it's also kind of unsettling that she's recording while she's in the bathroom stall i mean that's weird too i mean what do you guys think okay, thank you very much you need to leave me alone please okay you're in a police station i'm in a public lobby in a public restroom you need to leave me alone in the bathroom. That is extremely unprofessional and rude. Okay, well, we can't be too careful these days. Yeah, you can when, when you're invading my privacy and bothering me in the bathroom. You've gone too far. I'm not in the bathroom. You're standing at the bathroom door talking to me. Leave me alone while I use the restroom, please. I would, I would tend to agree with the auditor here. That This is just the strangest auditing situation that I have seen. I'm using the restroom, ma'am. And this, this right here is going to make it just, just listen really close and you'll, this makes it even weirder. I mean, this is just so bizarre. This is a bizarre audit, and I can see why she decided to uh, film. But, I don't know, me, I don't know if I would have started filming. I might have said something afterwards, but then, again, you didn't have the proof, so you could say anything, so I could see why she would do it. It's a weird situation, you know?
Was that you? I need to speak with your supervisor, please. I need to speak with your supervisor, please, ma'am. I need to speak with your supervisor. What is your name? Lucy, what is your last name? Excuse me? You need to make sure what? Like what? Leaving something in the restroom. What would I leave in the restroom? Do you interrogate? She was still in the restroom. She hadn't left. So why would she have left something in the restroom? This, this, uh, this woman is just, uh, she's trying to cover her own ass because she knows she, she did a little too much. At least I'm thinking she knows. Interrogate everybody that uses the restroom. What is your last name? Because I'm going to file a complaint against you. You're not going to give me your last name? You're a public servant, ma'am. Yes, you are. You work for the city. We pay for your salary. I need to speak with your supervisor. I need to speak with your supervisor. Okay, I'll wait. Thank you. Well, you need to try. Ma'am. I came in here and used the restroom. You didn't make sure of anything except invading my privacy in the restroom. And you need to get your supervisor. You need to get your supervisor. You're in a public lobby. You are in a public lobby. I don't know what you're doing in there. I was using the restroom. That's what restroom. Were. I don't. I don't know what you're doing in there. What does one go into a restroom for? I don't know. Maybe to use it. I mean, unless she was in there for an absorbent, uh, you know, a long time. I could see why she would say something, but we don't know how long she was in there. I doubt she was in there that long. I need your supervisor, ma'am. I can't believe that. I can't. All right, guys. What, what, what did you guys think of that? I mean, <laughs> obviously, I think the lady was totally in the wrong. The auditor, um... <laughs> The auditor, I thought, did a good job. Wasn't aggressive or anything. I mean, of course she got upset after being confronted in the bathroom. I mean, who wouldn't get upset after being confronted in the bathroom? I know I would. I don't know if I'd start filming it, but that's what she did. You know, to each their own. What do you guys think? Uh, what do you think of the whole situation? Uh, obviously, it's a weird situation. I'm, I, I just want to know what you guys think of the situation. I think it's really weird. It's odd. Uh, I don't think the auditor did anything wrong. At least it didn't look like it on the video to me. Uh, in this case, I believe that the uh, employee was completely out of uh, out of line here. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments, and uh, let's talk about this. And if you guys want to, you know, watch the video, uh, I showed the title on there, so. Let me see if I can find it again. There it is. Harassed in a bathroom, first minute audit, and uh, it's uh, 51550. So uh, check it out. Go ahead and give her video a like as well. If you want to share her video to show just the ridiculousness of this, uh, the Louisville Police Department, or I'm mean, sorry, the Graymore Police Department in Louisville. You know, uh, go ahead and do that. And if you want to look up a call and just, you know, berate this chick for being just utterly ridiculous, I, hey, you know, she, she would deserve it because this is some first-class buffoonery here. Anyway, enjoy your guys' weekend. And I may come back with a video later. I don't know. See how things go.